Hey, good morning. Marcus Conti, former sanitation enforcement agent, pro se plaintiff in Conti vs. DSNY, investigative journalist, here on my Sunday morning bench. It's not going to be a, uh, it's not going to be a Sunday morning walk, it's going to be a Sunday morning sit down. Mm. Got some stuff to talk about. I want to, um, I guess, you know, kind of like an update uh, for Sunday. And I want to, I want to thank firstly the, uh, you know, the people that, uh, again, I'm an incidental on this whole thing. I'm not a, you know, a, an aspiring journalist or any of those things. And I want to thank the, um, you know, people that subscribe to this channel and the people that contribute comments because your comments are very important to me. I, I view your comments. I read them. I, I don't always comment on them because I'm trying to make video, right? So, but I do read. I read everything and I try to comment and. You know, Judy Cop, uh, Short Cipher, even if we don't agree, you know, uh, Sterling Price now popping in, Tomas, James Gomez. And I read all you guys' comments, and I, I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, you're the one, you know, you're keeping this thing going. You're you're helping me uh, confirm, in my mind, that, uh, you know, we're going in the right direction. Where we have a small group, 80, 89, 80, 90 uh, subscribers and uh i think we're you know like eighteen thousand views so people are paying attention we're starting to get there right? so, so this video uh, i'll give a little bit of um you know a little a little uh i got my, i want to share my thoughts on this uh on on um thought crimes and what's going on with all the sexual harassment everybody's now a sexual predator and um what else about the a little bit about psych ops and then and then uh, I have some breaking DSNY news that I'm going to talk about. Right. So the first thing is, you know, uh, I want to also thank the senator, uh, senator from New York, Senator Gol uh, Senator Marty Gol uh, Golden. Um, you know, that the guy sticks his neck out. You know, it's not, look, it's not a popular, even if it's true, you know, that there is a quota in New York City, which of course we know there is, which... You know that there's there's overt racism being used to hold it in place and and harassment and you know and 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 threats and you know so all these things are are in place but it's still a tremendous leap. I don't know if I'm phrasing that right, but it's a it's a it's a very noble thing for a senator to come forward and go on the record and say that that. Mr. Conti is, was probably retaliated against for what we know is an illegal quota. So it's it's a you know it's it's really really uh, a wonderful thing, and I hope this is this is a a turning point. Maybe we get the mayor to say it, and and and, and then you know what is the someone asked what's the what's the course? Why does it matter? What's the course of the you know what's the uh, next thing? Is that you have to you now put that letter. And letters like that and information like that in front of the jurors, the, the, the judges that are going to decide on this case at the appellate division. Also, it, it shoots a signal, you know, shoots a, 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 you know, a shot to the bow uh, to the city council, the, the uh, oversight committee. The city council is now aware that there is a quota, that there is this case in front of them and that there is a senator who is aware of it and is 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 encouraging action right. so that's what we're doing all this will be presented to the judges we have another chance to respond uh, i want to read something from uh thomas Paine. thomas Paine, not the historical thomas Paine, but the thomas Paine that we've come to know and love the editor uh and chief of uh true pundit uh, True Pundit is a uh, online uh, media publication. And this Thomas Paine writes, quote, Many like me, we are united, we are pissed, and we are committed. And we never lose. Always find a way to win. I retired black ops for the white hat. I've made peace with my transgressions for Uncle Sam. I seek only the truth and pledge my gifts for the greater good, a better America. So is this a site? Is this a psyop right here? Conti, DSMY, psyop? We're all connected. That's the point to my friend, Mr. Cyper, 
Short Cypher. We're all connected, yes. Is Q part of this? Is it, it's, it's, a, it's a community, right? It's a community. I didn't sign up for this. The, the community finds you. That's how it works. It's the, it's the opposite. It's not law enforcement is a black op where you're forced to do it. This is, this is for the greater good. That's what kind of op this is. Hope that answers your question. So, so breaking news, the SNY news. I'll change my hat for a second because this is fun. Breaking news. Now, there's a rumor inside DSNY brewing that Berkey Boy, Michael Burke, director of DSNY Sanitation Enforcement, still director, still employed, right, is pissed <laughs> because the number, uh, the number of tickets is low. <laughs> of course you're pissed because you have nothing else to do, you jerk off. I should give you a profanity alert when I do that. You jerk off. Right? Because there's nothing else at the SNY. It's all, it's all about tickets. And, you're, you know, I would, I'll make a prediction a year from now. That guy, the guys, they're all now, you know, with now the city council and senators and judges looking down on them. You know, hopefully they'll all be, you know, somebody, somebody will get arrested. Somebody will get dragged, dragged out of the place in handcuffs. It should be Mike Burke because he's the leader, right? So anyway, he's starting another rumor, uh, and this is the rumor. It was It's overheard that they want to uh, drop sanitation agents off with a van and drop people off on the street to write tickets. <laughs> all we know, right, all I've told you about the, the, the use of punishment and how foot patrol and it, it's punishment that doesn't work, right? You could put someone on the street and they could cover a mile or two. And that's not going to make them get more tickets because in a car, they could cover 40 miles, right? So it's punishment. They're doing it again. Why? Because there's still an enormous amount of fear inside of, of DSNY. You guys, you have city council now. I'll just say it for the last time. You now have, I set it up. You have city council. You can contact those people. They're, they're, they're good, decent people. They will listen. You push for for. You know, judiciary action. They could hold hearings. They could actually set up a hearing where you could drag Burke and the rest of the bad bunch in there and question them. You bring me in now. You know. So it's up to you guys to push because they're doing it again, right? You're going to get a quote. You, there is a quota. They're just waiting for, for, you know, this thing to blow over. And then they're going to do the same thing again because they think that there's not going to be any consequence. And if people don't speak up, there won't be any consequence. So Burke is running around again, right? And who started the rumor, right? The gift that keeps giving. Fucking misconception. Oh, we got you. Oh, you got you. Fuck you. We got you again. Again, you're running around. Oh, I, I heard. Oh, I heard that there's a, that they're going to put you guys in, in, a, in a van and we're going to drop you off on the street. It's just a rumor, but I heard. You fucking scumbag. Right? You fucking scumbag. You're passing rumors around, threatening people. You're going to take away their car and put them on foot. Stand up, fucking people. Stand up. Stand up for yourself. That was bitch to, 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 to put her in the van. Put her in the fucking van. It's not a rumor. It's not she's passing a rumor around. She is the rumor. People like her are the rumor. Another um, another agent, uh, sergeant, was overheard saying that on Sunday patrol, here's another one, said that um, he wants a productive day. See, they're starting to use the language again, productive. What does productive mean? Productive means write fucking tickets. If you don't write tickets, you take away, put you in a van. A threat. That's a threat. Right? They're threatening you again. Right? Put you in a van. Dump you off on the street in the cold, the rain. Right? That's not, that's not, that's punishment. This is, what is this? What is this, kindergarten? Go stand in the corner? Come on, people. Come on, wake up. Wake up. All right. Another thing um, in sanitation, they have a, uh, sometimes the tickets, the pre-printed tickets have a, have incorrect information on the back. And agents are given stickers to cover those incorrections with the correct information. In this case, it was, 
the ECB location to pay your ticket for the for the respondent, right? So, so here's the sergeants giving out these stickers, right? And what do they do? Sergeant said, each of you, quote, this is this is fact. This is not a rumor. Each of you are getting ten stickers, no more or no less. Why ten? Why 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 ten? There's the number again. Ten, right? Why not five? Why not one? Why not fifteen? Why not just give me a stack and I, and why are we counting ten? All right. So there again, the number ten is creeping back in to the vocabulary. And where in behind it is the threat. We're going to take away your car. You can put you in a van like a jerk off. Drop you off on the street and walk around, do nothing. Right? Right? Embarrass you. That's where it's leading. Uh, and, you know, and finally, I, I, um, I think that there is, um, I'm, I'm optimistic that the, the agents from what I hear, are optimistic about the city council stepping in. That's very good. And you should be optimistic about that, right? You should be optimistic about that. And and you should you feel you should reach out. The, the emails, are, look at the video that I put up. The, their emails are down, you know, below the video. And you can reach out to them on their own. They'll be very receptive to you if you reach out and say something, right? So the ball, that ball is in your court. I can only do what, I, what I'm going to do. And the, the rest is up to you. Now, I want a, a final comment on the PSYOP thing, right? Look, in, 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 in something like this, this is uncharted ground, right? And there is a, there is a, a certain level of deception and, 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 and show to... Because we're, we're getting very close, if not being directly over the target right now. So it is going to get bumpy. They're not going to sanitate. No one turns their back on millions and millions of dollars, even if it's illegally stolen from the public, right? They don't do that. They don't turn around. They're going to try to squash this. They're going to try to squash me. Um, so there is, uh, in answer to that, the, 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 the little post I put up last night about the dead man, uh, you know, dead man lock on. The, uh, what that is is basically it's an auto release of information so that if something should ever happen to me, and I should disappear. That that information will, in fact, hit hit the media and hit the mailing list. So that's all that is. It's just it, it's it's automated, and all I have to do is respond once in a while to say that I'm still alive. So that's all that is. Right? It's not a big deal, right? And 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 if you think I'm, you know, you know, when you take a couple of million dollar, a couple of million, probably, you know, billion dollar budget cash revenue out of the city's pocket if you don't think that 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 that, that bothers them that they're not putting you on a watch list and not going to attack you well then you don't know anything about the current state of law enforcement right i still again this, i don't stream live i would love to stream live but i don't stream live because none of these i don't if i turn on a live stream then i give away my location this this the machine i'm using is not a phone it's a, it's just a recorder right? it's just for recording and the, my phone is in my pocket, and it's off. It's untraceable, right? So, no one knows. I don't. I, that's this is this is the state of things. This is it's still. I keep my location when I'm walking around safe. I don't want to get hit by a garbage truck. I don't want to have a, a, a you know garbage pail fall off a third you know flower pot, <laughs> fall out a third story window and hit me in the head. So. This is the way it's got to be for a while. Merry Christmas. I'll keep it. I'll, I'll end here. It's getting long. And uh, Happy New Year. We're going to keep keep pressing. That's the that's the. There is no change in plan. This is the plan. The plan is to is to is to keep running people over with the truth. Right. We are the truth. We are the truth. We come together. One purpose: the truth. Peace.